name is John French. Today we are going to turn this 1986 Winnebago Le Charo motorhome into an electric vehicle. That's the plan anyhow. Okay then. This here is the collar that will fit over the motor shaft or spindle. Now this collar here is four and a half inches from there to there. That's the diameter. The inside diameter is one inch and seven eighths large to fit over the shaft of the motor. And on this side I just put a pulley array. Right, so this is all going to sit, or should I say slide onto the motor shaft. Our next move is to put these bolts holding this pulley in place down nice and tight. And from a video I watched before about building your own electric car, this is don't forget to use lock washers. And see, a lock washer here, or a spring washer as some people call them, that will stop these bolts from undoing at high speed, which could cause quite a catastrophe should that happen. So we have to make sure everything's nice and tight. There we go. Okay. 213 pounds per square inch, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm only kidding. Put it on nice and tight, and that's all you need. Nice and tight is the answer. Ah. Well, this is the thread flocking liquid. Hopefully, there'll be enough to do for all these guys. And six bolts. Maybe. Of course, I'm going to be putting it on really tight at some point. And, uh, now then, I've turned this upside down, and we're going to put this part on. You can see how this is keyed out. Yeah, see how that keyhole's cut in there? Well, that's going to have to match up with this keyhole here. And what you do is, once you put this on, you put your screws in, or should I say your nuts and bolts, bolts I think is probably the right word. You take your bolts and you put Loctite in each of the holes, and then you put each of these in hand tight, and then you put the whole thing onto the shaft of the motor before you tighten everything up. Otherwise you might tighten everything up and this won't fit on the shaft because of the tight clearances. Okay. So now you can see this threaded bolt here, and this will stop the clutch mechanism moving any further back than this, which is really important, because this mechanism will engage the transmission on the motorhome. So now I'm going to put this stuff on that threaded bolt, it's called thread locker, and now we'll lock everything in place, because we don't want it coming out while this motor's spinning, do we? Now cinch this bolt on nice and tight. Nice and tight is the secret, I guess. <laughs> As they see it on TV. There we go. Okay, now we've got this guy on. <coughs> We're going to try and line up this keyway. Down the board. There you go. Slide that on there. Put this guy in and slide everything on. Like that, see? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that's a pretty tight fit, especially the, fl the flywheel. So, what we do is take Mr. Hammer and this piece of wood and just try and tab it on. See, it's slowly going on. See everything's lying up nicely. And now we tighten these bolts up. So it's going one bolt and going across the circle to the other bolt. Okay, and then to that one. See this way you'll get equal torque as they call it. And the torque is not cheap. Okay, so that's good there. 
and then get them on fairly snug but not too tight and then once you get this lined up with the edge of that get this shaft lined up with the edge of the flywheel then we can put them down pretty tight yes and this is the clutch mechanism mounted on the flywheel see see that baby turns yes it appears to be turning nicely no noises looks very balanced now we can put it on the transmission and see how that looks if you notice I stood the motor up on end just to do this part of the job just to keep it a lot easier to balance everything make sure all that your bolts are, have spring washers with them and tighten them down really good